Now I'm going to derive the, the power rule of logarithms, and it's, it's the other very, very important rule of logarithms that's, that's been pretty useful through the years. So here's the idea. Um, I'm going to start with x to the n, and think about it as x parentheses to the n. Okay, so it is a power of x, and I'm going to now take the um, re-express x to the n as b to the log base b of x to the n. And on the right side, I'm going to express x as b to the log, and then leave the n on the outside. So I'll keep that in parentheses. x is b um, to the log base b of x, and then this is all raised to the n. So I use that um, property again about inverse, the inverse functions of logarithms to rewrite these quantities in this crazy formulation here. And uh, in this case, this piece went here, but here I took x separately and then n is on the outside of the parentheses. All right, well, in, in beginning algebra, you learn that when you take out the, the, the parentheses, when there's a power, parentheses raised to power, you remove the parentheses and multiply exponents. So this is equal to b to the n log x base b. So in other words, n multiplies this, this exponent and multiplies that exponent right there. And now if we, we have the bases equal to one another, so if we cancel the bases, you see that the log base b x to the n equals to n log x base b. There you go. So it's as if when you have a log with something raised to power, it's as if you can take this power and bring it to the front, like so. And uh, that turns out to be a very, very useful property. So we call that the, the power rule of logarithms. All right, so I'll, I'll give you a quick e example of that. Uh, how, would you, how would you find a square root by using logarithms if you had a way of calculating logarithms? All right, so let's look at the square root of, of 2. All right, so the, um, if I take the log of the square root of 2. Now I'm working with base 10 log again, common log. And I think of 2, the square root of 2 is 2 to the 1 half power. So this is the log of 2 to the 1 half power. Then this is equal to, by the power rule, the power comes in front is 1 half log base 2. And so log of the square root is half the log of the inside, literally. So if you could you know, figure out the log of 2, look it up. It's 0 0.3010299. I, I know this one. Take half of that and then go back to the table and retranslate it. You would find that the square root of 2 is about 1.414. 213562. Okay, so um, that's, that's how they could have used it. But you can imagine that um, you know, before there were calculators that uh, calculating square roots, cube roots, uh, any kind of root, any kind of radical would have been a, a bit of a mess, in, um, particularly in the pre-calculus days, to, to calculate, for example, the 12th root of 2 uh, without calculus. The 12th root of 2 is used in tuning musical keyboard instruments. It's been, been used since the year 1720. Well, um, you know, the twelfth root of two, you would end up looking at one twelfth the log of two, and then um, and then retranslating that back, and it's about one point oh five nine four six. But to do a to do a twelfth root of two, this calculation would have required enormous trial and error back in the back in the old days. So, anyway, um, I know I'm I'm kind of bringing up this historical aspect of this, but but again, these, these rules are worth learning because they're still useful in other ways. And 
um, okay, well, well, we'll move on from there.